have currently about 1,500 milk cows, 1,200 supporting livestock. We farm about 2,000 acres in Stanley, New York. We produce in the neighborhood of 40 million pounds of milk a year, which is marketed locally through the Upstate Milk Cooperative. Uh, this is a farm that now has four generations. I'm the third. My daughter and my son will be taking the business over as time moves on. Three or four years ago, we were investigating building an anaerobic digester. The initial reason we wanted to build a digester was to create an ample supply of bedding. That was the original reason. We just didn't have enough bedding of the solids to bed the cows, and we wanted a pathogen-free bedding. The reduction in the odor. We are in an area where there's a fair amount of housing, there's a fair amount of small little hamlets. So, you know, when we're out there spreading millions of gallons of manure annually, we're very sensitive to how the neighbors feel about it. Running this through an anaerobic digester doesn't eliminate, eliminate totally, but it certainly makes it more palatable within the neighborhood. The ability to go out and, and put manure on the fields without a lot of complaints and a lot of uh, negative feedback from the community. So being community friendly is, is very important to this this farming operation. There's definitely societal benefits as well. When you get into talking about climate change, reduced um, methane emissions from livestock. I'd say the most important role that digesters play in climate change mitigation is you're intentionally capturing that methane that's produced from the livestock manure and putting that towards a beneficial use. So instead of that methane, which is a very potent greenhouse gas being released to the atmosphere, you're capturing that and then once you use that in an engine generator set to produce electricity, you can reduce purchased fossil fuel based power from the grid. Um, so that's sort of a win-win situation. So not only has Don positioned Blondhurst uh, now and into the future to take advantage of generating a, a renewable electricity resource, but also to the extent that there are revenue opportunities presented because of the ecosystem benefits. So if in the future there's a substantial revenue opportunity from demonstrating carbon sequestration and carbon management, and that's extremely valuable, certainly from a sustainability perspective going forward, and the most important sustainability issues, financial sustainability. Anaerobic digestion technology works. It's definitely been proven. It's not a new technology. What really is lacking is an economically favorable environment for these things to really take off. In some of the feasibility studies that we've done, we've come up with sort of tail end marketing ideas like a green milk, different farms with digesters or you know climate mitigation strategies could put their milk together and claim that it was carbon neutral or green. Um, in that sense, then that's definitely a marketing strategy and I think people pay, would pay more, just like they pay more for organic. Most dairies our size and frankly probably a little larger over the next 10 years have got to adopt some sort of a technology. We've got a resource within the, the, the waste stream in itself. Uh, you know, we've got carbon that can be reduced, uh, the carbon footprint. What is somewhat of a nuisance is, is now a resource if you have a digester. And frankly, we've found that the amount of time needed to to operate this digester isn't a whole lot more, maybe another half hour a day more than what we already had invested in handling our manure waste anyways. This originally was budgeted to cash flow and now it's looking at one year of operation it appears that it's, it's exceeded our, our expectation. And the digester is, is one of the technologies that can, can make us neighbor friendly, community friendly and environment friendly.